Hey, H Town Werewolf here. Back at it again. What you see on the table is my IWI Galil Ace SAR. And this one is chambered in 545 by 39. This has been converted into an SBR, hence the stock. Um, and this was one of my uh, first adventures in 545 by 39. I also purchased a, uh, a PSA AK that I no longer have. Um, as soon as I got this, I went ahead and SBR'd it. Um, as they come from the factory, the uh, handguard is very ugly, so I got rid of the handguard. Um, I didn't like the folding mechanism. It came, this one, this was before all the brace uh, rulings. So this one was shipped with a pistol brace, but it was the, I don't know, I didn't like the, it swiveled in the back. And then the, the hinge for these uh, Galils is very weird. So I decided to go with a KNS. This is the KNS uh, rear. 1913 pick rail and it allows you to mount uh, anything that's uh, 1913 this is one of my favorite braces here or stocks uh, this is the six hour mpx stock so this is for the mpx it's just fixed but man i really like it's lightweight it's comfortable and the best part let me see if i can get this on camera is it does not interfere at all with the action so you can shoot it the action will ride along the top so this is one of my favorite especially on this handgun or pistol or rifle my bad so let me unfold this actually i'll keep it folded for now um so other items i've done to it i did the uh rs regulate uh hand card. I added the KNS uh, plastic delete kit. I still have the stock trigger. I haven't messed with the trigger at all. So you can see the KNS logo there at the bottom. Yeah. And uh, I did have an optic on this, but I don't have that much. 545 by 39 ammo. So the optic came off of this and went on to something else video on that coming soon uh for my muzzle device um if you guys don't know i'm heavily invested in yhm so most of my qd devices are yhm compatible so this is uh one of their one chamber brakes works really good the uh, suppressor just threads on and twists until it ratchets down onto these little teeth that you see there see that tooth and that tooth yeah um, let's see what else did I do to this. Uh, I also added the, uh, these are Slate Black Industries uh, side rails. So I've got one there and one there. This does tend to heat up quite a bit. Um, I'm still undecided on what I want to do for a vertical uh, grip. Since this is an SBR, I can put a grip on it. But with it being, <clears throat> this is a 8.3 inch barrel seems if I put it here in the middle like it's it's too close and then when you're gonna go release the mag like I feel like it gets in the way so maybe I'll just do a small hand stop if I do it'll probably be the Arasaka hand stop oh this is empty guys uh, I uh, safety check everything I don't keep any ammo around me up here so yeah, this is, uh, like I said, my second stint into the 545 round. Unfortunately, the ammo is a little hard to find at the moment. Really hoping uh, someone here domestically starts making it so it'll be available. Uh, in the meantime, this, this guy just uh, stays in the safe. I don't shoot him much. I don't want to waste the ammo that I have. It is super smooth shooting. I will do uh, 
a video on this as I am going to do with everything that I review. Uh, I'll do videos on those and post those up later. So that's all I have for you guys today. This is my IWI Galil Ace and this is my uh, SBR. So I'll give you a look on this side. Look at that. It's kind of hard to open. I'm going to try to open it real quick off camera. Let's see. All right, got it. That wasn't too bad. All right, let's click and let's get another look at this stock. There we go. Let me run that action for you real quick. And then these have the real badass safety here. And it does both sides and watch. So this is really nice. It's got this. It's nice. Uh, the trigger isn't anything to write home about, but uh, it's not bad. Eventually, I'll get the uh, AOG trigger in this, but for now, it's going to stay the way it is. Oh, and one other thing. These sights. Oh, man. There's two versions of these Galils. They made a Gen 2. Uh, the Gen 2s have no, no sights. It's just a pick rail. So this is the version to get. The version with the, uh, the sights. Also, and if I didn't mention, they have three lengths on this. They have a 8.3. They have a 13.1, I believe, and a 16 inch. All three versions, they only made 545 copies or uh, guns, pistols, rifles, etc. Let me show you guys something. I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Check this out. You get one of these. A certificate of authenticity. Look at this. It says the certificate ensures that the Galil 8.3 545 is an authentic model of a limited edition series of only 545. So awesome. All right, guys. Well, with that, that's all I have for today. See you guys around. You can follow me over at on Instagram at H Town Werewolf. And uh, like I said, see you guys later.